Away from that, a, con a conservation and research development officer with environmental NGO A. Rocha Ghana, Ransford Aj Kofi, has charged the Wildlife Division of the Forestry Commission to ensure laws protecting endangered animal species work. He made the observation as Ghana joins the rest of the world to mark Pangolin Day. A pangolin is not an animal that ordinary Ghanaians think about every day. But for the ultra-rich who deem it as a delicacy and those who need its creative and spiritual abilities, it is a cherished animal. That's why wildlife experts say it is believed to be the most trafficked animal in the world. When we say wholly protected, it means the R number in the world is critically at the low, so it bans them. And one of these species is the pangolin. Ghana is home to three of the eight species of pangolins in the world. These are the African white-bellied, giant ground and black-bellied pangolins. They give birth to only one offspring per year and are vulnerable to overexploitation. The increasing appetite for bushmeat amongst Ghanaians is to blame. The Accra Kumasi Highway is dotted with a number of bush meat selling spots. Okay. I am at Isaman Tamfori, a town located along the Nkoko Inyenem Road. A quick scan through the bush meat markets in the country, especially one of the biggest, the Inyenem market located along the Accra Kumasi Highway, show that the prices of pangolins depend on their sizes. Another popular bush meat sales joint is right ahead of us. I'm going to go there to find out uh, the kinds of bushmeats that they sell, whether they have licenses as well, and whether the, the bushmeat they are selling are endangered species, especially the pangolins. He's explaining to me that they actually have permits. They have permits from the wildlife to do this. And so it's not illegal, that's what they're saying, that they have permits, but they are not able to produce the permit for me. But this is bricks business, and this is one of the very popular spots that you have bush meat, all kinds of bush meat being sold. The focus is on pangolin and they have a number of dead pangolins here. These species of pangolin are extinct and they continue to kill or hunt down these pangolins but they have the market for it. The people are stopping by to buy them. Environmental NGO Arocha Ghana have been on a quest to educate people. They do a lot of education on radio and on, on TV. But the challenge here is that in this landscape, the wildlife division doesn't have an office where hunters and traders can easily walk to their office to get the license or to get the necessary documentation. The office sits at the Koforidria regional office. The Wildlife Conservation Regulations 1971 LI685 indicates animals partly protected and animals protected in close season should not be hunted. No person shall at any time hunt, capture or destroy any of the species mentioned in the first schedule to these regulations. Unfortunately, the implementation of these laws have been weak.